Hello everyone, I am Utkash from Informatica Global Customer Support. This session is about data domain propagation, which is one of the features of EDC. The agenda of today's topics will be what is data domain propagation, how it works, statics of the data domain propagation, where we can see the logs of the data domain propagation, how we can control the data domain propagation run by setting certain custom property and where we can see the results of the DDP. Data domain propagation is an internal system job that propagates data domain based on system inferred rules. This happens when we run the data domain propagation scanner either manually or when the DDP scanner runs based on its schedule. At that time, scanner uses the inferred similar columns to propagate the data domains to other similar statics of the data domain propagation can be seen in EDC admin. Also, we can see the logs by clicking on the log location. This I am going to show in the de demo session. Data domain propagation can be controlled through certain custom property which can be set at the catalog service level, which I will show in the demo. And uh, also, we will see where we can see the results in the catalog UI. So in EDC admin, we can click on the open resources and then filter based on the system. Once you filter it, you will get all the system resources. Now click on the data domain propagation. Here we can see the progress statics of this job. Also, we can click on the log location and then click on std out full logs to see the progress of this particular scanner. Now we will move it to the catalog UI where we will see how we can create the smart data domain. Table say test1. In this test1, I open this column pin. Now I will go to the data domain section. I will give any name, say GCS underscore test. I will add this. I'm not selecting any data domain group. If you want, you can select that. Now it is done. We can see GCS underscore test has been tagged to this particular pin column. Now I will open another table. Where this pin column is already treated as a similar column. So if if I open this pin, so if you see, you can see the pin column is already treated as a similar for test two. This happens once we run the similarity discovery job. So once this pin column is identified as a similar column. Now, if we go ahead and run the data domain propagation, we will see that in test two, pin column that GCS test will come up automatically. So we, we have to run the data domain propagation jobs and post that we can validate the results. Before doing that, I will, I will also add one business title for this particular column, say pin. So if you see, I have already added a column name as account number. 
to this pin. This can be done by selecting a glossary and from there you can just select any uh, business terms and associate that to, to that particular column. So now we can see that uh, account number is added as a business title of pin column. Also we can see the GCS underscore test which is an smart data domain is tagged to this particular column. Now our expectations will be in this pin this business title account number should, should automatically get tagged. Also, the data domain's name as ECS underscore test should get automatically tagged. Let's go to the EDC catalog UI and trigger the data domain propagation. Uh, now I can see that the data domain propagation jobs is already triggered through its schedule time and uh, it is running. This can, this can be done manually as well. So once this data domain propagation job is completed, we will be able to see the business title is getting automatically tagged to other column as well as the data domain. So let's wait for this to complete. You can parallelly monitor the logs in the log location, STD outflow logs. So here we can parallelly monitor the status of this job. Now we can see that the data domain propagation job is completed successfully. We will log in into the catalog UI and validate the results. In the pin column of test 2 table, you can see business titles is getting tagged automatically. Also, we are seeing that the GCS underscore test, which was a smart data domain, is tagged in to the pin column. This either we can reject it or accept it. So in similar way, we can see in other, other table, say table 2, we will open this pin and we will see that GCS underscore test will be tagged automatically. And here we can see it has been tagged as a 67% because here the data domain match was 67%. Now we will see how we can control the data domain propagation runs. So for this purpose, you have to log in into the admin console and then go to the custom properties. Click on edit, click on new, put the custom property value as this. The value should be the value should be in minutes. For example, 120. It means it will automatically run after every two hours. So this is the property which we need to set. Click OK. Then OK. Post setting these properties, we need to restart the catalog search. There is one more property that we need to set. This also I will put as 120. Post setting both these properties, we need to restart the catalog service to take the effect you can follow the below documentation for more information about data domain propagation also you can log in into network.informatica.com and under documentation section you can get all these document we would love to hear from you on below links you can Provide your feedback on given links. Thank you for watching.